Hey guys, Stefan here, the Photo Bigger, and today I'm going to do a new episode for my brand full range overview series. And this time I'm going to do an overview of the photo books by Presto Photo. If you've been following my blog, you must have seen Presto Photo before. I've talked about their Apple books, their lay flat books, and their standard books as well. The links are going to be in the description below. In this video, I'm not going to review the product separately, but I'm going to show you the full range and how the photo books compare to each other within the range. If you're new to the channel or if you're new to Presto Photo, then here is a little bit of an intro to the company. So this is taken from the Presto Photo website. I'm going to read it up very quickly. Previously known as Vio Vio, we were founded in 2005. We began as a travel information company sharing images and details of helpful tips and tools for traveling. During the course of our company, we began printing travel books and the rest is history. In 2013, we changed our name from Vio Vio to Presto Photo. In 2017 and 2018, we have begun branching out into different printing areas such as wall art, custom gifts and more. So long story short, it was an information company and now they turn into a photo book and print company and they are based in North Carolina in the United States and they also have two other websites. One is the Presto Yearbooks and PrestoBooks.pro for the pros. So that's all about the company. I'm gonna talk about the books now. First of all, they have a huge range of photo books. I think they have the largest site selection from all the companies that I've seen in my life and they have lots of paper types, lots of cover types and you know many many things to choose from and the good thing is that the books are not put into categories but instead you can choose every single attribute of the book so you can build it as you go. The bad thing about this is that the website can get really really confusing. So how to put it in an easier way, so when you have so many options most of these options are not going to be available for all the products so you might get into um, you know a dead end when you try to create uh, for example a lay flat book but certain sizes will not be applicable or when you try to create a portrait photo book with a hardcover and you want to choose the same paper that you chose for the landscape book and it's not going to be applicable. So for that reason I made a chart which hopefully should demystify the website a little bit more. It's still not perfect because it's impossible to get all the options into one chart but uh, I'm going to post a screenshot of it here but you can also have a look at it on my blog and see if it helps you when making decisions um, at the Presto Photo website. So anyway, you've got five binding options to choose from and that's going to decide on the type of your book. Let's start with the most standard one which is Perfect Bound which is just like this book here. So Perfect Bound means that the pages are printed on both sides as single pages and then they are glued together at the spine. So these books start like that and then obviously when you start paging them they will not open fully flat and there's going to be a little bit that gets lost in the middle. Now again if I show you this view you can see that you kind of have to press it down so that's what perfect bound means and that's the standard binding style. So here are the hardcover books. Um, these ones are obviously image wrap which means that you can customize them front and back. You can even have spine text and you're going to get a little logo on the back and this one is the matte version and that's the glossy so as you can see this one has a shine and this one is completely smooth and matte. Now both of these can come with dust jackets but the dust jacket cannot come with every single size so confusion begins. Now if you get a dust jacket for example this one is an apple book and I'm going to talk a little bit about that later but if you get the apple book you're going to get the usual apple dust jacket that used to come with the apple books that's the book and that's the dust jacket so it looks the same and you have the little inlay as well and that goes around the book and that one is matte as well. So that's your number one option. The other perfect bound option is the soft cover which is glossy. Looks just like the hardcover but it's soft. I haven't got any of those. I've got some from different companies but I don't want to show that although it looks the same but it's just this one is about Presto. So just remember when you go for a soft cover it's not going to be hard back so it doesn't last as long but it's a glossy finish and you can personalize it front and back as well. So that's perfect bound and you also have the saddle stitch which is going to be mostly with the soft cover books 
Again, I haven't got that one to show you, but saddle stitch basically is when you have two staples in the spine of the book and that's what holds it together. It works well with uh, shorter and smaller books. It's a good binding type, but again, it's not designed for longer or bigger books. And there is another um, less photo book looking type binding, which is the Y or O or whatever you want to call it, a spiral binding. So it has um, metal wire on the side and it opens completely flat, but obviously it's going to be wired in the middle. And this one to me looks more like a presentation book. But again, it's a good solution if you want something cheaper and it stays flat and showcases your pictures nicely. Look, so if you open it, it stays completely flat. So that's YRO and you have a die cut finish which is your traditional library book binding which has a little window on the top with one of your favorite photos. It comes in several colors. It looks like leather but it's not actually leather. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of a paper stock but it's very very smooth and it feels leathery but it's not leather. The back is blank and the front is blank too and you can have your favorite photo at the front and you can choose from 13 different colors for the finish of this die cut and the nicest and best binding is the lay flat. The lay flat uh, divides into two subsections and let me show you both of them. I made a separate video about this but if you haven't seen it here are the lay flat books. This one is the seamless lay flat and this one is the hinged lay flat. So seamless lay flat as you can see it stays completely flat and there is no break in the middle so the pictures are basically a continuous flow between the pages. It's really really good for double page spreads like this one here because the picture continues on or if you have panoramic shots like that one there. So it's perfect for that. This one is called the seamless lay flat and it's the most expensive one. If you go for the hinged lay flat it's slightly cheaper and thinner as well so these books are identical but as you can see hopefully you can see that the bottom one is a lot thicker than the hinged one. When you open the hinged one, it stays fully flat as well, as you can see, but it has a black hinge in the middle. So basically it's printed as single sheets and the sheets are uh, attached to the hinge in the middle and that's what holds the book together. It stays fully flat, but it's not ideal for double page spreads. However, if you have a book design like this one, where you have separate pages, but you still prefer the lay flat look and you want to go for something slightly cheaper, then it's the perfect option. So these are the two lay flat bindings if you want to go for a lay flat book. There's one more thing that I should mention here, although it's practically not a binding, but it's a binding option that you can choose, which is loose pages and the reason why I'm saying it's not a binding because as you can see it's loose so it's not bound together but you have to choose this as a binding method. So in this case if you do scrapbooking or any sort of um, you know projects where you would need the pages to be printed out separately you want to put them into uh, you know some um, plastic holders, sleeves or anything like that. These are really amazing options for that. The print quality is the same as in the photo books and you can use the same editors, so the same templates and layouts, but you can print them out as separate pages and they look like that. So I created some pages for my holidays, just a page, so basically um, a starter page and then a collage on the back side. And again, that's what they look like. And they are really uh, strong cardstock. So let's move on to the paper types. Um, Presto offers eight different paper types. The first one is the Matte 120. That's the name on the website. This is a 118 GSM uncoated paper stock. It's the cheapest paper type. And I personally don't think it looks very good in photo books because it's too thin, it's uncoated, so it's not going to be so sharp as the coated papers. The second one is the Silk 120, which is the same thickness as the Matte 120, so 118 GSM. Again, it's quite thin, but at least this one is coated. It has a nice silky finish. So if you want to choose the cheapest paper type, I would go for the Silk 120. It's going to give you a nicer, sharper image with better colors, but the same thickness. So if you make a very, very long book, it's not going to be so bulky. The most popular paper type you can choose from Presto is the Premium 150, which is 148 GSM. What a surprise, the most common paper type. And this one has a silky finish as well. It looks really good. 
it has a lovely silky finish, a subtle gloss, and it has the right thickness. So most of the books that I have here are using that paper type. Let me show you. And as you can see, the print looks really nice, vibrant and sharp. Very nice, uh, vibrant colors and the thickness is actually quite nice. It's not too thin, but it's not thick enough to make your book bulky and it's very cost efficient. If you select this paper type and you're going for an Apple remake style book, then they are automatically going to select for you the 65LB McCoy silk cover paper type. If you don't know what that is, it's absolutely fine. It's the paper stock that Apple used to print on in their photo books and Presto is using the same stock so your Apple books can look identical to the ones that you had before. So once again, if you're creating an Apple book, choose the 150 premium and then it's going to automatically switch to the 65LB silk cover stock, which to me, it looks almost completely the same as the Premium 150, but I think it's a little bit thicker. It feels just a little bit thicker, but it looks just as good. And again, when I put it next to my old Apple books, it looks completely identical. So that's not something you can choose, but if you go for the Premium 150 and it's an Apple style book, it's going to be selected automatically. The 200 Luster is kind of a bridge between the 150 Premium and the thicker lay flat papers. It introduces the lustrous texture, which I absolutely adore. It's thicker than the 150 premium and it's going to last longer as well. The next two paper types are the lay flat ones. So if you go for the hinged lay flat book, you're going to get a 250 GSM velvet paper finish. Now this one is thicker than the previous two. You can feel it, you can still bend it, but uh, it's a lot thicker, so it feels more luxurious and more elegant. And it has kind of a smooth, um, silky texture, but I would say it's more on the matte side. And if you go for the seamless lay flat, where the double spreads are stuck together, you're going to get a Luster 400 paper type, which is almost like cardstock, so it's very hard to bend. That's how thick it is and it has uh, a pearly lustrous texture. It's not quite as lustrous as photographic papers, but it has a lustrous pearly finish. So that's how it looks. And if you compare the two, there we go. They look almost completely identical. But obviously this one is a lot thicker. And the last option is if you go for the loose pages, they are going to be 300 GSM in thickness and you can choose from semi-gloss and matte. These ones are semi-gloss, so as you can see, they have a very subtle sheen and the matte is going to be completely shine-free. So if you go for loose leaf, 300 GSM, it's quite a nice hard uh, cardstock and that's the same thickness for the matte option as well. So to sum up, when you select any of these books, make sure that you know what is most important for you in the photo book before you start um, selecting the attributes. If the most important thing for you is to have a lay flat book, then select instantly the lay flat binding option and it's going to show you the size selection for that specific binding. If the most important thing for you is the size, for example, you want a 12 by 12 inch uh, square book, but you don't really care about the binding or you don't really care about the paper option, then go to the sizes, select 12 by 12 and square, and it's going to give you all the paper options and all the cover options that you can choose for that size. So I think that's the easiest way to decide what book you're going to make with Presto Photo if you know what the key ingredient is for you. And just a few words about the Apple products. So as you know, Apple went out of business. Well, it didn't go out of business, but they stopped doing photo books and print products. And a lot of other companies started making substitutes so people can continue creating Apple style photo books. Presto Photo is one of these companies but they have done Apple photo books in the past as well, so it's not a new thing for them. They are quite experienced in it. And the good thing about that is that they have a bigger size selection than most other competitors. And the best and most amazing thing about Presto is that they allow you to print your Apple style photo books that you create in photos or you know anywhere else with the Apple style layout and print them out as lay flat photo books. 
None of the other companies at the moment, to my knowledge, allow you to do that. So if you want a lay flat Apple photo book, go for Presto Photo. Regarding the editor, you've got three ways of creating photo books. One is the dedicated online editor, which has lots of themes to choose from, uh, lots of creativity. The second one is that you can use Apple Photos or any other Adobe uh, software and create your book and upload it as a PDF. And the third one is you can use their uh, new Apple template app on your computer and use the template that Apple used to have before. I hope this was helpful to you in understanding more about Presto Photo, what they do and how you can choose photo books. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments box. If you want to watch my book specific reviews of Presto Photo, the links are going to be in the description below. And just to let you know, I have a new Instagram account. It's the photo book guru. I used to have another one guy around the world for my travels. I stopped that and deleted it and now I started a new one for photo books and photo book reviews and news. So that's going to be the photo book guru if you want to follow me there, you can do that now. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon.